Hello, everybody. My name is Stephanie Zimmermann. I'm VP Investor Relations at the Nemeche Group. And I would like to give you an update on our Q1 results that we published end of April. Um, I would like to start with an overview of our key business highlights in the first quarter of the financial year 2021. In short, I really think that we had a very successful start to the year, supported by an underlying recovery and improving confidence in the construction industry. And of course, we also have a resilient business model. All in all, we saw a high organic top line growth of 12.1% paired with a very high profitability. However, reported revenues increased only by 8.1% to 185 million euros due to the ongoing substantial FX headwind. In line with the trends, we saw in the last quarters, our top line growth was again mainly driven by our recurring revenues. So meaning maintenance and subscription, which increased by 16% on constant currency. In addition, we are pleased to report that our license revenue also recorded a positive growth for the first time since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. As already mentioned, our profitability was very high in the first quarter with an EBITDA margin of 31.3%. Main reasons were a higher than expected revenue growth, as well as ongoing savings for travel and trade fairs due to COVID-19. Therefore, please let me highlight that the strong margin in Q1 should not be extrapolated into the coming quarters, and especially the second half of the year where the transition of our brand Bluebeam to a SaaS business model will have an impact on our growth and our profitability. Apart from the very high cash conversion of more than 120%, the right side on the slide shows that we once again also increased the quality of our balance sheet with an equity ratio of around 49%. Moving on to the next slide. There you see the development of our revenue growth over the last five quarters. I already briefly touched on the negative FX headwind we faced once again in the first quarter. The main reason was the weakening US dollar, which accounts for roughly 45% of our total revenues. While this is certainly not a new trend, the impact on our reported figures has however increased steadily over the last quarters, as you see in the chart. Therefore, while our reported revenue growth was more or less only stable over the last quarters, I want to highlight that our underlying FX adjusted growth is already back at the levels we saw prior to the global pandemic. I think that's a strong statement, as well as a proof of the high resilience and growth potential of our business model and our end markets. Let's move to the next page. As you all know, one of our main objective and always an important discussion point is the topic of increasing our share of recurring revenues. If anything, last year's development have showed that the importance of these better predictable and more resilient revenues. We were able to grow those by 11.7% on a reported basis and even 15.9% on an organic basis. This revenue category now accounts for 61% of our total revenues. Within the recurring category, our subscription revenue once again grew the strongest and currently accounts for more than 110 million euros. This already represents a share of 18% of our total sales compared to the only 13% one year ago. In addition, we are happy to report that our license revenue increased nicely by roughly 7% on a currency adjusted basis. Driven by our design segment, software license therefore grew for the first time since the start of COVID-19. Now to conclude, my view on the first quarter, let's look at our segments. Starting on the left side, our design segment recorded a strong recovery with a currency adjusted increase in revenues of 11.5%, mainly driven by an organic license growth of 30%. Main contributor to the revenue and margin increase was our second largest brand within the Nemeche Group, Graphisoft. Moving on to the build segment, with a growth of around 5% year over year, continued to suffer from the strong US dollar driven FX headwind. 
the underlying growth of 11.2% shows a slight acceleration compared to the last quarters. Moving on to the managed segment. Our managed segment had the expected slow start to the year with the important customer group of facility manager continuing their cautious investment activities. In addition, all the margin developed as expected as we continue to strongly invest in the future growth of this division. Last but not least, our media segment on the right side continued its very strong performance also in 2021 with a pure organic and currency adjusted growth of roughly 22%. As we come to the end of my presentation, I would like to turn to our 2021 outlook. Based on the very good start of the year, we fully confirm our guidance for 2021 after the first quarter. In particular, that means that from today's perspective and at constant currency, we expect at least a high single digit percentage revenue growth in the fiscal year 2021, despite our accelerated move to subscription. With this, we are very confident to also achieve our profitability range an EBITDA margin of between 27 up to 29%. A few thoughts on the quarters. Our Q2 growth in revenue and EBDA will naturally look very high, given the extremely low comparison base due to the COVID-19 impact in the second quarter of last year. We will therefore see a normalization of our growth and margin development in Q3, also due to the strong rebound we saw last year, before we will start to really feel the impact from the Bluebeam transition starting at the beginning of Q4 in terms of lower revenue growth and a lower profitability. Nevertheless, with Q1 as a strong basis, we look confident to the reminder of the year. Given the intact long-term growth trends in our relevant end markets, our already high portion of planable revenues, as well as the broad regional and market-related diversification. That was a brief update on the successful Q1. Thank you very much for your interest. Since you watched this company video until the end, I'm guessing you liked the video. And that's probably because we work very hard to create the most engaging and added value content for you. If you're a company and want to find out how we at Seat 11A can make a company video with and about you, please email us at content at seat11a.com.